What's up, everyone? You're probably wondering who this man is next to me. You're like, that's not Danny. <laughs> uh, this is Greg. We met a couple weeks ago at a networking event, and he worked his magic hands on my body. Um, <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's what I do. He's a massage therapist. And then when we got to talking, you were saying that you do events for couples, retreats. He teaches tantric massage. And I was like, we, we, ha we have to collaborate. Like, we have to have you on. So here we are and I found out five minutes before the showtime that we are actually doing this in person so that was fun I, I whipped up this office like pretty quickly actually. yeah it's it is very good I know you're only seeing the very tip <laughs> of the iceberg but the rest of the iceberg is fantastic yes thank you, thank you. and yeah I just wanted a, a nice drive today I wanted to uh -huh. get away from doing a lot of couples and everything so mm -hmm. consider this my mini vacation it kind of feels like a little mini vacation out here most people say absolutely yeah 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 I'm looking at a boat right now. <laughs> That's exciting. Yep. Uh, so a little bit about me. Um, I've been doing massage for 11 years now, uh, licensed, insured. And the, the best part about this whole process is that there's so much to learn about the body. I am continually learning every single day on every single client. So in 11 years, I've been... In, in addition to my usual training at Irene's, I've done eight different certifications, everything from reflexology to cupping to Thai massage, mm -hmm. but also a retreat to do Yoni and Lingam, mm -hmm. um, which was very, very enlightening for mm -hmm. both me and uh, my girlfriend at the time. Uh, so yeah, there are just so many layers and so many tricks and so much so much to learn about the body, about yourselves, about uh, your partner, it's uh it's brilliant yeah i love what i do mm. i i don't do yoni and lingam massage on the public <laughs> yeah i do not give half so no life only yes yes that is right you know somebody was listening to you say that and they're like first off i know so many people are like what is lingam he's mentioning penis massage and vulva massage casey you're not sure what the lingam and yoni was mm -hmm. um which we talked about i actually just had a recent episode on cock worship which was very much you know around the lingam massage and tantric penis massage and whatnot so there's a lot more than just up and down yes, <laughs> yes. yeah yeah, I, I was shocked to know as, yeah. as a cis white male, uh, this whole process has been just very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, that That's for sure. I grew up yeah. very NRA, Republican, conservative, Catholic, uh, very vanilla in, in my sex life for even most of my life. And it was really, really a shame uh, mm -hmm. that I had any kind of shame associated with yeah. it, or I just was afraid to try something because yeah. my new motto in life is the worst that's going to happen is someone says no. Yeah. And I mean, just get over that. Okay. No. Yeah. So. Oh, such a great thing to hear coming from a man, like to be comfortable with no and be comfortable with rejection in, in general, you know, it's like you can still be firm in your masculine when hearing that from a partner, mm -hmm. which is great. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> and it has been a journey for me. Uh, I don't say that I'm an enlightened male. I say that I'm an enlightening male. <laughs> Uh, because there is just the the man brain is just so interesting. Again, being f like a, a classed as a meathead beforehand, you know, very, very sports oriented and everything like that. To do this for a living now, to be surrounded by just wonderful, strong female presence that you have to be you have to be comfortable with. And it made me realize that, yeah, I don't have to be king of the castle. I don't have to, you know, be, be the traditional meathead thing. Mm -hmm. And there still is times where I, I say that I have like in, in, a, in emotional aspects and stuff, mm -hmm. there's kind of a lag time. Uh, you can say, this is how I feel and yada, yada. And I still will have the, the emotion of just either anger or just, oh, er, er, it, it just takes me a second to slow down, think and say, okay, now I can empathize. Mm. But that time is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Uh, when I, you know, was, was my old self in my twenties, it was maybe <laughs> a week to two weeks before I'm like, okay, yeah, she had a point. Now it's more like <laughs> four minutes, five minutes. Nice. But yeah. yeah. It's we're, we're getting it down and down and down. Yeah. Down, so. <laughs> 
yeah but you need that time to that self-reflection like no I'm in I know I'm right and then you know you're like no I can see I can see the other side of it now right right uh well because men and women just we we think very very differently very, the brains are wired so so differently right right, like, right. Yeah. um I did a course uh supposedly based on Montauk Chia's sexual reflexology mm. book which is a great book it's by Montauk Chia sexual reflexology and <laughs> oh, it's it's wonderful and it's uh don't get lost in the pictures just okay. read, read what they say and, it, and it's a very very short book but the main point that I really got from that weekend was yeah the man and the woman's brain are wired differently mm -hmm. uh go back to like even potty training like mm -hmm. we okay we're peeing and we don't need to pee so we can just close it off like our problems and our solutions are all external mm -hmm. our ourselves are supposed to be good just everything else is the problem mm -hmm. whereas the female brain is like okay i'm peeing i need to stop peeing okay feel it internally close it off and then actually have the control over mm -hmm. it and not just squeeze it off yeah so and I think I was like 31 when I heard that yeah and that changed my entire life like I that was the day that I kind of became a man mm -hmm. in my thinking of it so I love that I've also I've never heard that and that now my brain is kind of like racing right now thinking like yeah like men process ex externally like and it's so hard for I think men to go within sometimes for women too but generally women are seen as the more emotional beings right sure. and then in your line of work as we were saying before we started recording here we, like you can see you can see emotion on the body like you can feel emotion on the body yes so can you speak a little bit about that you were mentioning like if somebody has neck pain and a partner's like oh my gosh you always have the neck pain like what what that could mean in in your work Ooh, well, that's, <laughs> yeah, we're going to need longer then. Um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, we'll, we'll go to the partner yeah. thing first. Um, ostensibly, if somebody's just telling you things every single day, there will be uh, a kind of an eye roll after a while. It'll be a saturation just every mm -hmm. single day with this neck pain. Okay, I get it. You're back. Uh, can you please help me get the groceries? Oh, okay, you're back. Yada, yada. But when you actually take a minute, take five minutes, take an hour to just sit there and feel somebody's back, mm -hmm. you're going to feel the tightness. You're going to feel especially longer durations of, you know, deep, you know, pressure either with your elbows or your hands you'll feel the the give the pushback the the reluctance to get cuz a lot of people are very reluctant to get rid of that tension that that emotional state that that just whatever that fight mm -hmm. or flight i i strictly do 90 minute sessions it's very very rare that i'll do something like uh like a chair massage that mm -hmm. i met Rachel at or like a 60 minute session for somebody because it just takes 30 to 40 minutes to get people out of fight or flight mm. and there's no substitution for just okay good firm pressure like giving their muscles a hug saying okay i i'm here it's okay to relax i give you permission to relax mm. and even with partner stuff especially if you're a new couple if you're not that comfortable with each other you're still farting in the other room <laughs> sort of speak yeah there still is that i need to put on a front and it's hard to not put on that front. Um, I'm I'm on my third date with a with a wonderful girl, and yeah, it's it's been different to you know change. I've been single for two years, so my brain has been in single mode. Now I found something that I hopefully like and can go a little while. It mm -hmm. just takes a second for me to switch you know, that, that gear in my brain, because I have still been, you know, kind of shallow with it. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this person is that it's, you know, the silence mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. For, sorry for going no, off on a tangent. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to massage. 
So the the other things that uh, it can tell you, um, if something is really knotty on your right side, of course, there's the physical aspect to it, like, okay, old football injury or surgery or whatever. Right. But if you're constantly holding stress and tension and you won't release it, if it's something on the right side, that is your masculine energy. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be to do with uh, people in your life or your, your own struggles, how you see it internally. So my masculine side is on my right and my you know uh the financial troubles are up here in my shoulder and uh my lack of children is down here in my left lower back mm -hmm. uh but my feminine energy has all of the ladies to do around me so i have a little bit of left lower back tension but that's more related to home stress mm -hmm. you know just uh how I'm living, I would like to be in a house and I'm in an apartment and, you know, I come home to my house plants that I want to put in the ground. So that's, that's that stress, but you'll also feel on your partner that if you say the guy is massaging the girl, you can feel like, okay, this is a lot of stress. Am I causing her the stress? Is it her boss? Is it her father-in-law or mm -hmm. whoever mm -hmm. but it's it's not the general rule we're working with very broad strokes this is you know energy work is not an exact science mm -hmm. but it is a very interesting science mm -hmm. yeah and I definitely didn't realize that you were going to go that route like I it's you don't find many massage people like I feel many massage people that I've worked with, they're very much about the body and like the Western medicine side of it and the, just the science behind it. But when you just brought in like that spiritual component and then the energy side of it, the feminine, the masculine, that I'm so much more excited for this conversation now, Absolutely. because I think it's, it's so important that people know that. And I'm sure some people are listening like these two are batshit crazy. Like, what do you mean? I have neck pain oh, because yeah, I have, I have, so me, like I have neck pain always right here. As soon as you saw me, you were like, Oh, you're a massage person. Like she missed the spot. Like you could see it immediately on me. Yeah. And yeah, it's interesting now to hear like, what to that might indicate. Like, yeah. Where is where am I lacking in my feminine right now that I'm experiencing this? <laughs> um, but but having said all that, and thank you for that compliment. If you would have talked to me at year five of doing this, yeah. I would have strictly been pre-med, like, nope, it's all hokum, none of the hippie mm -hmm. stuff. And in the last four or five years, I have really broadened and and opened myself up to that because I wasn't making the progress that I should have been with all of these clients. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to, you know, like sound conceited or narcissistic, but I am very, very good at my job. Mm -hmm. I have very loyal clients who've been seeing me for some eight, nine years now. And I wasn't fully releasing what we needed to release mm. and I wasn't or I, I was getting trapped in the old habits like okay a plus b equals you know d plus e and and yada yada I, mm -hmm. I should have <laughs> did one and two not a and b, but, but you get the gist yeah. um yeah there there is the the component to us that spiritual component whatever it is even if you're not religious i'm not religious at all i i grew up catholic uh and now i'm doing shamanic energy work you know <laughs> in in training so but there is there's definitely that force there and i used to just think that it was like a chemical thing like pheromones and stuff like that but now that I am seeing and experiencing, you know, couples and stuff like that, they mm -hmm. have that spiritual component, or at least the ones that are, are good. Too. Yeah. Uh, the ones that are, you know, not quite aligned, maybe it's because of money or convenience mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Uh, or like not opening themselves to that, to, right. to the idea of like being connected spiritually, you know? Right. I've seen that. And I mean, so I'm I'm the only man in my friend group that doesn't have kids. We've all been friends since we've been like 13, 14 years old. And I'm seeing a lot of them now that they have had children. They are not connecting with their mm -hmm. wives anymore. They are not spending the time to be intimate, to be there, to be present. Because, yeah, kids do take up. Oh, <laughs> so much time. I mean, I'm only an uncle and holy <laughs> shit. But having said all that, 
it's when I when I teach couples, which I'm sure we'll get into yeah. uh, right now. When I do teach couples uh, how to massage each other, I say, okay, if you don't have an hour, make that five minutes really good. Mm -hmm. five minutes of a good massage is mm -hmm. better than an hour of a shitty massage. <laughs> and the if you only have an hour together, that you know your kids are not there, and okay, let's do something fun. Let let's do a massage. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's cook mm -hmm. together. Or if you're not feeling it fucking spoon mm -hmm. just just take a nap and yeah. spoon have just that yeah, yeah. But, like i think that yeah it's kind of yum yum yeah yum, yum. Oh. Have, you, have you heard of yab yum no no oh no, my god it. you sit so the generally it's the man that's sitting like indian style and then yep. the woman sits on top of him with her legs wrapped around him i just so like your genitals night. are connected your yeah. hearts are connected yeah it's no, like a yeah. really really spiritual yeah. And then if you sink your breathing to you, yeah, it's hot. That is hot. <laughs> Highly I, so, so I, I haven't been saying it correctly. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Who knows? But no, yeah. I like yab yum. Yab yum. It's, yeah. And it rolls off the tongue. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, so let's get into uh, couples massage and teaching couples massage. Mm -hmm. uh, now, IVF uh, had me as a consultant for many years. My ex-girlfriend uh, needed help conceiving, and ultimately, we were not su uh, successful in mm -hmm. that. But it did lead me into fertility massage. Yeah. And now I, I do love doing my prenatals and my, my infant mm -hmm. massage. If anyone checks out my Instagram, you will see a wonderful reel of baby massage. <laughs> But um, yeah, so the the fertility massages is, is one aspect of it, but we're talking about the day-to-day -day stuff, the, the fun stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, massage really helps boost oxytocin. Mm -hmm. it, it builds trust on a much more sacred level, mm -hmm. and it does bring a much more connectedness to you feeling somebody's body like we mentioned where their where their tension is 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 amazing but also just their scalp and like how you can have them go from i hate work i hate work to oh, i love life yeah <laughs> i love being here with you you know be like yeah right yeah right um so i generally will teach a scalp massage like first or like hands mm -hmm. hands are great hands can be done uh in public um, you know, while you're sitting there at the dinner table waiting mm -hmm. for food, that is just amazing. It really sets the tone on the night. And then the scalp massage is more for the end, mm -hmm. you know, for, for not messing up your hair. But scalp massage is very, very easy to do. You just follow the bones. Um, everybody has a split there, right there in the cranium. Mm -hmm. And then you have down here, and then it goes to a little Y. You've also got down here by your temples. And yeah, if you just take your hands right around there by the temples mm -hmm. just do simple little traction up not hard not hard wait for your partner to to tell you harder mm -hmm. uh, every single per, uh, couple I tell I'm like please it's like salting a steak or <laughs> yeah. something like yeah. that yeah I can always add more <laughs> absolutely yeah as soon as you add too much it's mm -hmm. the dish is ruined because then it makes you tense up again yeah fight or flight yeah so you just do like these little, like little circular motions, or is it more of like a pulling up? Ooh, uh, may we demonstrate? Yeah, oh, please. <laughs> yep, yep. So, um, yeah, we're gonna tilt her head down just for the fun, uh, fun of it. Ooh, uh, so yep, yeah, right around here. So yeah, your first two fingers should be right around the temple, if not right in there, because the mm -hmm. temple is just a whole, a whole thing. We're not gonna get into it. Or you can also go by the fingers we're gonna, mm -hmm. or by the ears. We'll we'll do that in a second. And yeah, you're just gently, gently pulling up. Mm -hmm. Just pulling up. See, nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Around one or two of them, you can start to add your thumbs. And yeah, your thumbs just trace right around the, the cranial bones. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is the frontal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just trace right through. Now. Wow. now the one joint that you can spread do not spread these ones mm -hmm. do not spread this guy. well kind of spread this guy but it's right here at the top how does this feel now feels nice is it kind of where like the hairline i mean that feels very nice yeah mm -hmm. yeah typically where people have their hairline is right about there yeah 
I guess like for women generally, like where you're, where your part, like kind of where it goes to the back of your head even. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, also if you just want to cradle the back, any kind of pulling back and we're not talking like aggressive hair pulling, mm -hmm. but just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit of scalp. And then it also goes down to neck to all these other kind of things. So um, nice. Now I feel like I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> word. Word. Uh, and yeah, you give your partner permission to relax, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah, there is a lot of relationships that I, I like to say uh, one's a gardener and one's a flower. <laughs> yeah. So obviously there's going to be more massage given to one partner than to the other but the the times when it is the gardener's term to receive the gardener has to be present and has to be allowed to mm -hmm. receive and that's a great thing that massage can do yes there usually is one partner giving head more than the other partner mm -hmm. <laughs> so when the other partner's time is there mm -hmm. it's hard for them to like it enjoy it mm -hmm. feel comfortable enough to it and not feel like they have to reciprocate yes that's a big yes. one yeah. uh, i'm a reciprocator yeah so most, yeah. yeah most and, are you hope yeah. you hope they are you hope so but it's he like in sure. talking you know for instance i mentioned the cock worship episode that i did it's like if you're doing something like this for your person the concept of that is not to reciprocate it's just to allow them to be in like in the receiving right mode right and that and that's that's why i'm saying massage is great mm -hmm. with that because we're so in our heads the entire time we're not really in touch with our bodies we're not mm -hmm. you know th there is that disconnect there so you sync up your breathing, sync up your body, sync up your mind. And yeah, when you, when you're not wearing the, the stress armor, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's yeah. good to go. Yeah. And when you were talking to, I was thinking, you know, for people that have trauma backgrounds, right? Like the body keeps the score. And so, yeah, and we don't have to go down this because I'm sure this is a whole nother episode, but to be able to, again, just be in that space and be in that presence with your partner and you're giving this, again, like giving this physical touch. And, and for me, it's more so the intention behind it and to like, actually when we, you know, when we do massage, like to actually feel my husband's presence and like to know that he's there, like holding space for me. And, and I, I am his full attention right there. Like what he's giving to me, like that's, that is the most meaningful part of it, I think. And you know, again, for people that have trauma, it's like you're mentioning these tensions and things and you can kind of key point like what these are related to. And I think the same goes for this. It's like when you can get somebody out of their head and into their body, like physical touch, massage, tantric massage, all that, that. This is like the greatest segue into that. Yeah. Um, and we were kind of talking to like redefining that intimacy. And I think intimacy for me, it comes back to like being present with that person and 100%. present in, in love. And, and, you know, you don't have to be in love per se, but like you're giving that love, mm. love to them. Yeah. You're not wishing it was somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, you don't really care to be there, right? Like you'd yeah. rather be doing something else yeah. or, or whatnot. Yeah. And the, I, I do deal with uh, survivors of SA. Um, I have so, more than several clients who are exotic dancers and they come to me because not only am I just good at my job, but on that more spiritual side, I am a male that's not trying to put anything inside of them. Mm -hmm. You're safe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, when you are giving massage to your partner uh, during that time, you almost need to let them, you know, say, okay, I'm not going to stick my pee pee in you for, <laughs> for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to wait until you would like me to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which it happens. It, it definitely happens if you're doing it right. Or she might just have a nap and then you'll get even better nap later. Mm -hmm. So there, there is that expectation there. But if you do trigger somebody, which has happened many, 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 many times mm -hmm. on my table that, yeah, nothing that I did just, okay, right here along that hairline mm -hmm. was exactly like her R word guy did. Yeah, yeah. And when that happens, you just have to sit there and breathe with them. Sometimes, you know, pull back mm -hmm. or other times just, you know, put the touch on something a little bit, you know, more 
safer yeah i want to say yeah, yeah not not in that triggering mode because yeah it, it, triggering can happen for anything can can be an old sports injury or, or just whatever like mm-hmm. it, the body does keep score and if you have that unprocessed trauma it'll come up 20 30 40 years later mm-hmm. sometimes 60 at times i yeah. mean I, yeah so when that happens, just revert your touch to someplace that's a little bit safer mm-hmm. and sit there and breathe with them. The breathing exercise is huge. Yeah. Now, most, most people will do the <laughs> purse their lips and breathe out. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's specific yoga teachers that have told them to <laughs> do so, or just if they want to be in control, but that right there, even that exhale that you're trying to get out of your body, mm-hmm. you're trying to control. You're holding back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I, oh, so within the first <laughs> five minutes, I'm like, okay, we're, we're relaxing our jaw. We're. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, I think uh, you had me do that. You know, when I was right. in just in that like short time that I was with you like audible exhale. I'm like, yeah, yeah I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah. Um, and that's the only way you're going to get that stuff out of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, there there's two ways that I can take trauma out of people's bodies. And that is, mm-hmm. okay, breathe through it. <laughs> breathe through. I got all 45 minutes right here <laughs> on this spot. And it's a terrible experience for them. It's a terrible mm-hmm. experience for me. Or we can give them permission mm. to to release themselves because uh, it, it wasn't until I started getting into like psychedelics and, and other things like that. Uh, a common phrase is you are the medicine. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you are your own best medicine. Yeah. Um, going back to like the the potty training example or something like that. But uh, how you internalize bad news like you can have a car accident on the day that you won the lottery and you're like, Oh, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or you can, you know, get into a car accident on a day another bills do. And then the whole world is, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, is going. Um, And and that was another formative uh, moment in my life when me and my friend got into an accident when we were teenagers Mm -hmm. and both of our dads showed up at like the exact same time. And I wasn't driving. It wasn't our car. Mm-hmm. But my dad motherfucked me. Like, <laughs> like you wouldn't believe, like, dumb bastards, lower than whale shit, mm-hmm. this and that. The other guy's dad pulls up and he's like, oh, my God, look at that. Wow. Okay. You guys are all right. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at that damage. All right. Well, oh God, oh, yeah. look at that. All right. Let's go get ice cream. And yeah, that that guy's uh, dad was just one in a million. That, that, yeah. Yeah generational generational trauma right like he, yeah that's tough yeah but yeah I mean so I mean great I love where just this conversation that we've had so far and we were talking I want to kind of double click on this whole concept of redefining intimacy and you had mentioned something too earlier in this conversation when you said like the one one partner is con- complaining about their neck pain and I find this a lot in couples, primarily if it's the woman. And I feel like a lot of times women will do this sort of fake and fake an injury in a way to get out of sex. Like I have a headache or not, to, I'm too tired, right? Like we have all these ideas and that's a whole separate podcast. I feel like I have several podcasts around like how to get around this and how to avoid that from happening. But, um, or have the, here are my best excuses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I should, I should. What, what she's really saying when she says I have a headache or yeah. she's too tired that I, I'm going to yep. make a mental note of that. And, and the people that have opened up to me at the, uh, at the massage classes mm-hmm. that I've done, you know, I have said this and yeah, I think that, yeah, it's it's basically because uh, even our concept of sex is just very mm. patriarchal. P and B, P and B, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's not to say anything's wrong with P and V. Uh, I prefer to P and A, but <laughs> you know, you do you. Um, but yeah, the what, what's great about massage is that it is tactile. It is stimulating or at least it can be Mm -hmm. it can be it's it's freaking foreplay if two couples are doing it at times yeah Yeah. and there is nothing wrong with that Mm -hmm. um 
especially because it's between you two. It, it is the exchange of energies and breath. Mm-hmm. If you're holding everything in, that that definitely tells you everything. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how to elaborate on it. I know that I'll be in the shower later tonight. Like, oh, <laughs> I should have said this. <laughs> yeah. I think, and because I primarily work with women, and so when I'm talking about massage products and things like that that I sell with the one product side of my business, it's like the women are okay. Yeah, I I would love to enjoy a massage from my partner, but then you know it's like halfway through the massage and I'm getting the poke poke right, and it's like that's. I mean, this is all this is all great, but I think you said it best. It's like do it. it like commit to that first 30, 45 minutes. And then if she or he, I guess, is asking then like, oh, now I'm I'm actually feeling turned on. I'm feeling into my body. I'm feeling yeah. safe. Like I'm wanting to take this further. Then that's, that's on them. Like I'll giving them permission yeah, the, to be able to the, ask for the that. The job is not done. Yeah. Uh, it's, you kind of have to put it to to some dudes in, in that sort of terms. Like I'm, I'm talking like construction workers and shit like that. Mm-hmm. My scrawny white ass comes in there and... <laughs> They're like, wait, you're telling me that I can't, you know, my own wife. And it's like, no, no, you have a job to do. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting paid till the job's done. (laughs) Yeah. And that analogy hits home for some. And uh, it's also, you can also make it a male ego thing. Males like to be the best at things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you suck at it, then no booty. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> uh yeah if you wear panties that that is uh usually the well how i have told um at least the ivf folks wear panties and then when she says okay take it off or when uh let's say the flower blooms above the panties mm-hmm. then you know the turkey is ready yet to come out of the, <laughs> night and, yeah. the green light <laughs> absolutely absolutely um and yeah that's that is one thing that even the couples that I have worked with, some of them, well, a lot of men cannot tell when a female has an orgasm. Mm-hmm. And I I couldn't until I was 31 years old. Mm-hmm. I thought I did. And then it's it was eye-opening, like, oh, here are telltale signs. Here are this, here are that. Couples have been together 15, 16 years, mm-hmm. like had several children together. Yeah. And two months later, they'll hit me up on Instagram and say, hey, uh, so I finally, you know, d- we finally had time and it was just so awesome. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's not like we're trying to talk about their details or anything, right. but it's like she was like, yeah, it's, she like, you know, d- I noticed a, a, a poof rising underneath the sheets and I'm like, oh, a lady boater. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Never knew. Mm. Five kids and didn't know about a lady. Before. Yeah. But in, you know, women's like women got really good at faking orgasms for a long time. I constantly talk about that as well as like stop faking the orgasms. But yeah, I, you're saying like there are bodies, well, there are signs in the body like you, you know, yeah. right. Versus just her moaning and screaming yeah. or whatnot. So go back to that. Uh, the male ego thing, the, the mm. wannabe pleaser, the wannabe the best. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes you want it over with, so you'll just say the sounds because I mean, the sounds are hot, the sounds yeah. are probably yeah. what's getting him to end it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and if uh, he ends it too quick because you moan, then you hold back on the other times, which is that, yeah, it's, it's a it's cycle, it's a cycle, it's yeah, a cycle. you're right. So before we wrap up, I want to ask, um, I've been told that there are certain like sexual trigger points on the body. Is that true or false? Yes. Can we speak to those? You don't necessarily have to show me or I don't know if I'm giving away any of your secrets or anything like that, but I would love to hear more about that. Yes. Uh, So reflexology was one of my very first uh, certifications. I think it was only in year one or two. But um, yeah, if you download a reflexology chart, uh, you will see a couple of great reflex points. Now, Mm -hmm. the ones on the feet are a little bit, I find a little bit more uh, effective. Okay. But there's a reason why handcuffs are a thing and a fetish. And there's a reason why a lot of females will like their arms thrown up by their partners like that because mm-hmm. of where they're gripped. Mm-hmm. Uh, s'il vous plaît. Mm-hmm. 
So uh, everybody's wrists, I've got really pronounced ones on either side. Mm -hmm. Everybody's wrists right about there has a little reflex point right there. Mm -hmm. But this is not a cum button. <laughs> And also, if anybody's uh, been pregnant, they tell you no wrists or ankles, right? Mm. And the reason why they tell you no wrists or ankles is because it's a reflex point mm -hmm. for your vagina. Interesting. Uh, uterus and vagina. Huh. So, yeah, for stimulating these. But they only work, they're, they're not the whole burger, they're the condiment. <laughs> So if you are close or if you're getting the feel, I'm sorry to only put this in the male frame, but if you are getting her close or him close or mm -hmm. whatever, then you squeeze this or the reflex point, the ankle, which I go over with in much more detail in my couple's course. Yeah. But yeah, you grip that uh, at a, you know, a certain time and place. And then, yeah, there you go. Interesting. You, you will definitely feel just the, well, again, framing it from the male perspective, mm -hmm. uh, you will definitely feel the the clench, as mm -hmm. it were. The the what's the word? Like when you say clench, you're meaning like the vaginal contraction. Thank you. Okay. Uh, but the not not planned like by your body. It, I'm, it's parasympathetic oh, versus. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's parasympathetic versus parasy or sympathetic versus parasympathetic. Mm -hmm. That's you know, that's. Not yeah. In terms. <laughs> so you you offer you mentioned in your couples course is this something that you offer in person or is it online or both? Yeah, um, I haven't done it online because mm -hmm. I just I'm not very good with tech. Mm -hmm. I mean, even with this, I'm like, nope, I'll come in person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drive 45 minutes. Fine. Um, yeah, I I definitely will ask to be in person. Not for you guys as coupling, obviously not. Um, the the typical way that it goes about it is 30 to 40 minutes of me massaging per, the male or the female. Mm -hmm. And then we go over what the what that person liked for a half hour, 45 minutes. Next person gets on the table for half hour, 45 minutes, and then we go over what they like. Mm -hmm. So it's individualized to every couple that you do have. Um, I try to keep it not long, but we do end up doing like three to four hours. So wow. it is a good, you know, it is, it, it is a good evening. It's a date night. Yeah. So you, you, we would do this just with one couple at a time. It's not like a group of couples. Well, no, I do do group couples. Oh, as well. okay. uh, usually they've been at yoga studios. Mm -hmm. um, I just haven't set up uh, anything outside of a yoga studio. I uh, just haven't been asked to. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're usually done at Bodhi. Um, I've done three or four of them there out in Farmington. Uh, if you would like to set up a class, Rachel, I would be happy yeah, to teach that. Yeah, I would that. love to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to do a baby class as well. Um, that's with my doula friend, but that's, we're talking about making babies. Yeah. 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 I like the class that you do the thing to make the baby, but you don't make the baby. <laughs> that's my kind of class. There you go. There you go. Uh, well, this was so great. And um, please share your, your social info or how people can find you. Of course, you're a great resource for people in Michigan, but even people that aren't in Michigan, I'm, I know can learn so much just from following you on Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my Instagram is target and treatment mm. massage. So yeah, Target, like the store, uh, only it's A-N-D. This is the ampersand. It's Target A-N-D treatment. Uh, Perfect. Massage. Yeah, and we'll make sure to link that in the show notes. And thank you so, so much for this wonderful conversation. Thank you, Rachel. Yes. And it was so refreshing to have somebody in person like this. Yeah, it's I started a trend. Yeah, you this, literally, yeah, you watch. Um, if people are in Michigan, I'm like, no, you need to come to my house. Absolutely. It's a beautiful home. Yeah, thank it's you. It's surrounded by boats. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for listening. And please reach out to Greg if you have any questions. And definitely, definitely give him a follow on Instagram because clearly he knows his shit, I, yeah. as you've heard today. Uh, Greg Kramars on Facebook, if you guys are on Facebook. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Thanks. <laughs>